What's going on today, guys? Primal Sabbath here, and today we're going to kick off the Beast Machines Via Cons reviews by taking a look at the Generations Tank Ore. Now, normally, this is the one that I would be using as my troop. I do plan on picking up uh, another one of these. This is the Hasbro version, uh, and a, I plan on picking up the Takara one to, to be the general, but I haven't done that yet. Uh, I'm not going to go with any of the original mold tank ores, so that's something to kind of keep in mind, but just for the sake of uh, getting these things out... Uh, I wanted to kind of go ahead and focus on that. Now, it is a fairly uh, recent mold, but it does fit in pretty well with uh, the rest of the, the Viacon Generals and uh, just the, the line itself, uh, for that matter, which is really cool, and it is uh, more show accurate. So, uh, it's not perfectly show accurate, but it is close enough. Now, you do get this kind of uh, moving cannon thing. It doesn't really do much. And what you do is you kind of grab it here and you push on the back, and it's supposed to launch this, but it... It really doesn't. Um, my boy Tyler G from Stasis Lock, he actually, uh, he's actually letting me review one of his mini tank drones whenever it comes in. So I'll probably, uh, I'll probably do that. But I mean, other than that, like that's pretty much it for tank ore. Um, like I said, this is a breath of fresh air compared to um, the mega or even the the little guys because the little ones they just kind of look out of place when you put them next to. Uh, Thrust and or the motorcycle drone, I should say, and uh, Jet Storm, respectively. And this he kind of has that same kind of imposing feel, and I think he looks, uh, I think he looks good with Strika as well. Like the only one that's really still out of place forever, I think, is going to be Obsidian. There's the Botcon one, and it does do a, a good job of being kind of like a a pre Beast Machines or pre Beast Wars even a uh, version of of him, and, and the same with Strika for that character too. But uh, but yeah. So anyways, um, he can't really do much much more in, in this mode. I mean, he can kind of move his head to and from, but, I mean, that's it. You see that there's this uh, red piece here that would have essentially been some really good light piping, but it's not. Like, it's a totally separate piece, and that's the piece for the eyes, but I feel like that's a missed opportunity for uh, for just some red light piping. But, you yeah, know, some people dig that stuff, some people don't. I kind of dig it. But anyways, let's go ahead and get this guy into his robot mode, and we'll continue on from there. All right, so here is Tankor in his robot mode. Now, um, again, the the attention to show accuracy here was was really great. I don't know if he was necessarily uh, all of like this kind of uh, light colored aqua sea foam or not. I, like I feel like like a silver or, or even a, a dark gray would have kind of suited him a little bit better. But um, you know, it is what it is, and and I can definitely live with it. Like I said, you know, because this guy is going to be a drone for me. So I think the Takara one is a little little closer, but I think it still has kind of some of those same colors. But, uh, oh, you can see he's kind of a little bit back heavy, but for the most part, like all of this stuff, it kind of like soft locks in, um, at least like where these little uh, these little tread pieces uh, should be, these little tread covers, they kind of lock into this larger piece right here. Uh, at least that's what I'm gathering. You know, having not had instruction. I mean, it's a, it's a deluxe from 20... 13 how how difficult can it be but he does look good he's got the two little uh little little pincer things and they do move together opposed to independently so that is something he also has the saw blades on uh both sides uh so you can kind of get him doing that and he does have like a rotation here and a rotation up here and he's got the double joint uh for the elbow as well so you can get a lot of cool stuff uh, out of this tank or um now would he necessarily be in scale with any of the other, like, the, the Beast Machines Maximals or anything like that? No, probably not. Uh, actually, definitely not. Uh, maybe uh, with the McDonald's toys, probably. But, you know, Tank Ore was a pretty big bot. Now, with the rest of the Viacons, uh, you know, the Viacon Generals and things like that, I think he fits in really well. I think he's, uh, I think he's a pretty close uh, match uh, for those. So, um, ideally, he should have been a Voyager. But as a Deluxe, he's still better than... The little basic or the completely inaccurate mega so there's that his head does still rotate he's got these little predator uh side head launcher things i like the grill uh that covers the i guess the mouth uh so again very accurate to the show and of course this can still uh come up and you know shoot go pew pew whatever or you can kind of keep it back if you want to you can again you can get a a little bit more out of it. I wish they would have had like a like a swivel for it, but you know that's uh, I guess that's just wishful thinking. 
But um, you even get a little bit of a painted detail here on like what's essentially underneath and the back of the uh, tank mode. You really, I don't think you really see any of that stuff come through. But it's nice that it's there. I'm never gonna uh, complain about. Uh, that sort of thing. So, like I said, I recommend uh, definitely if you're going to try to get a tank or uh, get get this version, um, go with the generation ones, the generation Takara one, yeah, stuff like that. I, I don't think you can really go wrong there. So, uh, anyways, that's it for Generations Tank or. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment box. I'll do what I can to answer them, and I'll see you guys later.